Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Today we are going to talk about upgrade a Helm chart in Kubernetes cluster. The topics I'm going through in this video are change version of a Helm chart, install the Helm chart, create a new version of the Helm chart, upgrade the Helm chart to new version. First topic, change version of Helm chart. In previous video, I create a my app config Helm chart. The chart only had a config map resource. For demo Helm upgrade, let me create a baseline. Log into my Linux box. If your box didn't install Helm chart yet, please click below link to get a guideline. This is my app config. First, change version and app version in chart.yaml file. If you're not familiar with major version, minor version, patch version, please go this link to read the document. As the content mentioned, the version is chart version. It's not your application version. Major version is 1, minor version is 0 for Helm chart. App version is 1.0.0. Second, add a version data in my app config.yaml file. Version is v1. Third, copy the R file to v1 folder. Let me create a v1 folder. Check the result. All the files were removed to the v1 folder. Baseline is created. Next topic, install the Helm chart. First, install chart. The command is Helm install chart name, my app config. Location is my app config slash v1. The command introduced the previous video. If you didn't watch the video yet, please Click below link to get the full background. Chart is created. Let me check the result. My app config resource is created. And then check the config map content. Kube control get config map plus config name my app config. Minor O means output. Format is YAML. Version data we added V1 and then check Helm release information. The result is name my app config, naming space default, reversion is one. Also the update timestamp and the status is deployed. Chart is my app config 1.0.0 and app version is 1.0.0. I highlighted two results. The value of the results are coming from chart.yaml file. Next topic, create a new version of the Helm chart. First, I copy the file to v2 folder. Next, change the version and app version in the chart.yaml file. Change the version from 1 to 2.00. And also change the app version from 1 to 2. Save. Next, change the config map information. Change the version from v1 to v2. Let me summarize which we did so far. First, change 
Helm chart version information from 1 to 2. Second, change app information from 1 to 2. And also update config map version from v1 to v2. The latest topic for the video. Upgrade the Helm chart to new version. New version means from v1 to v2. Upgrade chart. The command is help upgrade existing chart name and chart file location. The location is my app config slash v2. Upgrade successfully. Check the resource status. The config map is updated. And then check the config map content. The command is cube control git config, config map plus config map name my app config output file format YAML. We should see the version upgrade from v1 to v2. The version update as our expectation. Check release info. Helm list. The Helm chart in the default naming space reversion is 2. The reversion info will use to Helm chart rollback. Update timestamp, status, chart name. My app config 2.0.0. App version 2.0.0. The highlighted two Data is coming from chart.yaml file. Check the release info. Kuba control get secret all naming space owner is help. There are two release information. One is my app config v1. Other is my app config v2. Why there are two records in there? Because help will use the information to the rollback. In next video, I will demo how to rollback. Also, I will create a separate video to compare Kube Control Upgrade and Helm Upgrade. We completed all topic for today. Today we learned how to change version in Helm chart and then install the Helm chart. Next, create a new version of the Helm chart. Latest, a demo, how to upgrade a chart to new version. Thank you for your watching the video. I hope it was help. And it was, do not forget like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any question or something was not clear in the video, Please post them in a comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.